Okay, so I just wanted to show you a real-life example of what I was talking about. So we've got one clip as a sample from an Ireland-Scotland Six Nations game. And basically the ball is at the bottom of a rook. If we play it on, okay, we'll see the guy, Patterson, kicks it and it bounces out. Okay, so this would be tend to be where an amateur camera would probably switch the camera off. And a TV footage, although it stays with this slightly longer, because there's a chance of a quick throw, you'll see very quickly it cuts to a close-up of a player and then we get the obligatory replay of what happened and what I'm saying is all the time the hooker in this case is going through a particular routine five six maybe seven steps of what he needs to do to prepare to throw which is a tough call because it's right on the Irish line he's to make a good line out here so we play it on and we get these type of replays and he's going through this routine all the time and you'll see by the time the camera comes back to the live action which is still a few seconds later okay we're back and he's already in his position ready to throw but he's gone through six or seven stages to this stage and this is the bit that as an amateur cameraman this is where you have the advantage over a TV because you should be swinging to that hooker as soon as the ball goes out and looking at right how does he pick his call how does what player communicated with him did he go through the five or six steps he should and this is the type of stuff then as an analyst you need to communicate back with the forwards coach or with the hooker himself and likewise the same principle would apply in place kicking is exactly the same where most especially that I've seen most camera people tend to turn the camera off and just as he's about to kick it the camera will suddenly kick back in and you see the ball going over the bar or wide or whatever it happens to be but you're missing the vital bit to that player performing a particular skill so just think it's something to bear in mind if you're either getting footage from somebody or you're taking it yourself is to bear that in mind when you're when you're looking for it